Morning has broken, just like your sofa, when your mum sat on it because she's fat. I haven't had my hair cut in like three months now because of this lockdown and it looks like absolute ass. Welcome back to the shit show, my dudes. I am your host, Mother Mooncake, joining you once again from the bunker. If you've been watching the channel for a while now, you know that very recently I had to give up my previous abode and come here once again to the bunker to hide out because I've got some people on my ass and I need to lay low for a little while. And now that I'm in the bunker hiding out, I'm pretty bored most of the time, to be honest. There's very little to do in this small, confined space as I hide away from the clickbait confederacy. And seeing as I'm really bored at the moment, I've been on the internet quite a lot, scouring the crevices of this dark, twisted creation to see if there's anything I can do to starve away the boredom for a little while. And quite recently, I stumbled across this website here. It's a Hunger Games simulator by the looks of things. Now, I haven't read the Hunger Games in quite a few years now, so forgive me if I'm not up to date with the lore. But as far as I remember, you've got 12 districts, and each district puts forward two tributes to fight to death against all the other tributes in a massive fuck-off arena. Pretty simple premise, to be honest. I say we do it in real life. Just put all the stupid people that I don't like in an arena and watch them kill themselves. And that's the premise of this website, basically. You can take your own characters and put them in an arena and simulate them fighting to the death. And so I thought, seeing as I'm quite bored, why not do this with a load of YouTubers that I really hate? So before we start, I think we should introduce and go through our 24 contestants for today's epic Minecraft Hunger Games. <laughs> so in District 1, to start us off, we have the two Paul brothers, Jake Paul and Logan Paul, two of the worst YouTubers on the platform. I think it goes without saying why I put these two in. Personally, I hate Jake Paul more than Logan Paul. He just looks really unintelligent and whenever he speaks it makes me uncontrollably angry but that's just my personal opinion guys comment down below which Paul brother you hate the most and leave a description why I hope they both have a horrific and painful death um yeah that's about it district two we've got Keemstar and Fortnite Ninja I club these two together because they're both massive egomaniac narcissists they're both very familiar with how the inside of their colons look they're both really full of themselves and so I figured they go together quite well hopefully they'll just kind of fight at each other to see who's the best until eventually they kill each other that would be lovely wouldn't it over in district three we've got uh, two female youtubers this time we've got Lele Pons and Tana Mongoose they're both blonde they're both unfunny they're both extremely unintelligent and they're both snakes so I thought why not put them together in a district <coughs> district 4 we've got Onision and J Station two massive scumbags don't really need to say anything about either of these two I just hope they both die horribly in fact if there were two people I want to die the most in this video it's probably these two district 5 we've got morgues and NNA productions I went with some clickbait channels for the next few districts I don't hate these channels as much as the ones I previously mentioned I more hate the content that they create, but the people themselves don't really mind them, but the content they create can suck my dick. District 6, we've got Derv and Ali A, um, two kind of dead clickbaiters at this point. I'll be honest, it was quite hard to think of 24 shitty YouTube channels, so I just kind of stuck in people I've talked about in the past at this rate. When was the last time anyone spoke about Ali A? District 7, we've got FoosyTube and Trisha Paters. Again, two absolute scumfucks. I do hope that they meet a tragic and despicable end. District 8, we've got Ricegum and Jeffree Star. I don't know, they're just both quite similar in a way. They're both extremely obnoxious, both full of themselves, both incredibly ignorant and very fond of drama. Their entire careers are based off it. If I had my way, every one of my contestants would die horribly, but apparently one of them's got to survive which is a bit shit. District 8, we've got Sam Pepper and Nicole Arbor. Don't really need to say anything about them. They're both scumfucks. You, you both know why. If you don't, a Google search will tell you everything you need to know. Okay, moving on. District 10, BuzzFeed and Watch Mojo. They're not people per se, but they're two channels that I really don't like that should definitely get the fuck off YouTube. They make awful content, so they definitely deserve to be put to death in a Hunger Games game. District 11, we've got Annoying Orange and Fred. Again, they're harmless, but the content is shit. They're both dead. Well... Fred is, the Annoying Orange is still going, which just baffles me, to be honest. And then finally, District 12, I put in the Dobro Brothers and Extreme Games. I just thought of two of the most boring clickbait channels that has, like, two or more hosts, if that makes any sense. So, yeah, those two kind of fit together. 
who fucking cares? Okay, so now that we've introduced our epic contestants, I think it's time we start this. As the tributes stand on their podiums, the horn sounds. Extreme Games runs away from the cornucopia. Watch Mojo and Sam Pepper fight Jay Station and Tanner Mongoose. Watch Mojo and Sam Pepper survive. Wait, is Tanner Mongoose dead already? Fucking loser. Buzzfeed runs away. Trisha Paytas runs away. Fred runs away. Lele Pons runs away. Fortnite Ninja runs away. Keemstar and Un NNA Productions fight for a bag. NNA Productions strangles Keemstar with the straps and runs. <laughs> well, I'm very pleased about this. Keemstar has already died, which is the best news I've heard all day. Morgs breaks Derv's nose for a basket of bread. Jesus, Morgs. You can tell his nose has been broken. Look at it. Jesus Christ. Onision runs away. Not a surprise. He's a pussy. Annoying Orange grabs a shovel. With what? He doesn't have any fucking arms. <laughs> Jake Paul grabs a shield. Logan Paul scares Dobro brothers away. Probably threatened to kill them and film their bodies for a vlog. Nicole Arbor runs away. Fousey Tube finds a canteen of water. Ali A finds a bow. Jeffree Star runs away. And Rice Gum finds a full bag of explosives. Buzzfeed is pricked by thorns while picking berries. That's the most pointless fucking thing. I <laughs> Why would you bother telling me that? Fred strangles Jeffree Star after engaging in a fist fight. Can you imagine Fred, a squeaky preteen 13 year old, strangling Jeffree? That is incredible. Annoying Orange accidentally steps on a landmine. Praise be the gods, the Annoying Orange channel is finally dead. Jay Paul, NNA Productions, Sam Pepper, Fortnite Ninja, and Watch Mojo hunt for other tributes. Onision is pricked by thorns while. Who cares? Unless you're telling me that Onision has been killed horrifically. I, I don't care. Fuji Tube accidentally steps on a landmine. Well, that's fucking good. Trisha Paytas practices her archery. <laughs> yeah, I, I doubt Trisha Paytas is going to be that good at archery. She'll probably just beg and cry at all the other contestants to leave her alone while sitting on a kitchen floor. Derv and Rice Gum work together for the day. And this. this Again, Derv, you're stupid to new lows there, mate. I, I, I would not do that. He'll make, a, he'll make a video calling you out in six months. Morgs camouflages himself in the bushes. <laughs> I don't know why I find that funny. Just the idea of Morgs sitting in a bush, fucking vlogging it. So, guys, today we're in a bush hiding from another 20 or so people. Hopefully they don't kill me, guys. Let's see how it goes. Stream Games picks flowers. I mean, I'm not surprised. They're both thick as shit. These are the guys that faked their own deaths views. So to be fair, I kind of understand everyone else is, you know, practicing fighting or scouring for food or making alliances. And, and they're just sitting there picking fucking flowers. They're not, they're not the sharpest tool in the shed, are they? Six cannon shots can be heard in the distance. So I think, the, yeah, fallen tributes. These are the ones that have died. So J Station has died. Tanner Mongoose, Keemstar, Jeffree Star, the Annoying Orange and Fousey Tube have all kicked the bucket on day one. Still alive are the two Paul brothers, Fortnite Ninja, Lele Pons, Onision, Morgs, NNA Productions, Derv, Ali A, Trisha Paytas, Rice Gum, Sam, Pe Sam Pepper's got two kills. Jesus Christ. Nicole Arbor, Buzzfeed, w Watch Mojo <laughs> has got two. Watch Mojo and Sam Pepper have got the most kills so far. What a world we live in. Logan Paul questions his sanity. Jake Paul tracks down and kills NNA Productions. Right, okay, not surprised. Probably challenged him to a fucking boxing match. Extreme Games begs for Lele Pons to kill him. She refuses keeping Extreme Games alive. So, Extreme Games is just done with life. Apparently they got sick of picking flowers. And Lele Pons is a sadist. Right, cool, whatever. Sam Pepper cries himself to sleep. Why did I throw away my YouTube career? Watch Mojo and Derv run into each other and decide to truce for the night. Okay, so Watch Mojo and Derv have teamed up, not surprised. Omnision tries to treat his infection. You got an infection from getting cut by thorns. Your immune system is shit. Ali A and Trisha Paytas huddle for warmth. Oof. Ooh. Ali A, mate, not. N <laughs> Not good. Nicole Arbor falls into a pit and dies. Splendid. I I'm not even surprised. She was probably too busy fat shaming people to even notice it. Buzzfeed, Ricegum and Dobre Brothers start fighting, but Ricegum runs away as Buzzfeed kills Dobre Brothers. Right, okay, Dobre Brothers is dead. Absolute savage. <laughs> right, so Fred searches for a water source. Buzzfeed is pricked by thorns while picking berries. And Jake Ball camouflages himself in the bushes. It's dirty 
greasy blonde hair matches perfectly with the beautiful yellow summer flowers. Allier tries to sleep through the entire day. Derv questions his sanity. Did I really ring the boss baby? Morgs receives an explosive from an unknown sponsor. Why would you give Morgs an explosive? I mean, how stupid are you, seriously? Why would you give him, of all people, a fucking explosive? Amnesion makes a wooden spear. I'm surprised he's even got the intelligence for that. Fortnite Ninja receives medical supplies for an unknown sponsor. Sam Pepper receives an explosive. Who keeps giving explosives to the worst people in this game? Why would you give Morgs and Sam Pepper explosives? Sam Pepper makes a video exploding someone, prank gone wrong, gone sexual. Vice Gum tries to sleep through the day. Trisha Paytas and watch Mojo hunt for tributes, right, okay. And Lele Pond makes a slingshot. Okay, good for her, I suppose. Okay, so day two, only three people died. Ed and A Productions, Nicole Arbor, and the Dobre brothers. So still alive, the two Paul brothers, Fortnite Ninja, Lele Pons, Omnision, Morgs, Derv, Ali A, Trisha Paytas, Rice Gum, Sam Pepper, Watch Mojo, Buzzfeed, Fred, and extreme games. Morgs, Ali A, and Rice Gum start fighting, but Ali A runs away as Morgs kills Rice Gum. Yes, Morgs! Derv, Trisha Paytas, and Sam Pepper unsuccessfully ambush Fred, Logan Paul, and Onision, who kill them instead. Fuck me, so Derv, Trisha, and Sam are all dead. Jesus Christ. Fred, why would you team up with Logan Paul and Onision? That's low, even by your incredibly stupid standards, Fred. Lele Pons convinces Buzzfeed to snuggle with her. Two tumours of YouTube join together in a massive big cuddle. Jake Paul receives clean water from an unknown sponsor. Extreme Games and Fortnite Ninja tell stories about themselves to each other. <laughs> Fortnite Ninja is sitting around a campfire with Extreme Games going, do you know that I got Drake on the market? Do you know, you know that, that big singer Drake? Yeah, he's, he's famous because of me, guys. Extreme Games discovers a cave. Fred tries to spear fish with a trident. Fuck did Fred get a trident from? Fortnite Ninja discovers a river. Onision receives medical supplies from an unknown sponsor. Who is sponsoring Onision? <clears throat> if you're sponsoring Onision, take a good long look at yourself in the mirror and, and realize that you are scum. Ali A tries to sleep through the entire day. Logan Paul thinks about home. Buzzfeed sets an explosive killing Jake Paul, Lele Pons and Watch Mojo. This is probably the only time I will ever say this ever in the history of human history, but BuzzFeed, God bless you. <laughs> Seven cannon shots can be heard in the distance. Rice Gum, Derv, Trisha Paytas, Sam Pepper, Lele Pons, Jake Paul, and Watch Mojo. That's pretty decent. We're culling a lot of people now. So still alive, Logan Paul, Fortnite Ninja, Morgs, Onision, Ali A, Fred's Extreme Games, and BuzzFeed. There's only eight people left now. Eight out of 22. We're getting... We're getting pretty close to the end now, boys and girls. Fortnite Ninja sees a fire that stays hidden. Logan Paul and Extreme Games track down and kill Onision. He's dead. He's dead. How beautiful is life? You see, what will happen now is Logan Paul will probably film Onision's body for a vlog. Buzzfeed and Ali A talk about the tribute still alive. I wonder if we can milk them for views is probably the main topic of their discussion. Morgs thinks about home, Fred tries to treat his infection. The cornucopia is replenished with food, supplies, weapons, and memoirs from the Tribute's families. Logan Paul decides not to go, Fortnite Ninja decides not to go, Ali A, Extreme Games, and Morgs get into a fight. Morgs triumphantly kills them both. Holy shit. Morgs is racking up some kills here. All that playing Fortnite with his clickbait mother is paying off. He's really been, he's really been grinding for the Hunger Games. Buzzfeed decides not to go and Fred accidentally steps on a landmine. Onision, Ali A and Extreme Games have all been killed today. That's pretty fucking good to be fair. Day four, Fortnite Ninja, Morgs, Logan Paul and Buzzfeed hunt for other tributes. But there can't be that many left. I mean, are they just gonna like gang up and kill everyone else? And then kill each other. Because if so, that'd be fucking hilarious. Fallen tributes. Four cannon shots can be heard in the distance. Onision, thank you Lord Jesus. Ali A, Extreme Games, and Fred. So who have we got left? Logan Paul, Fortnite Ninja, Buzzfeed, and Morg. So Morg has got three kills. Logan Paul has got four. Buzzfeed has got four, and Fortnite Ninja has just got one. For a man that prides himself on being good at battle royales, Fortnite Ninja has done sweet fuck all in this game. He's just stayed hidden like a little pussy. Come on, Ninja. This is not very good. This is not representative of the man that put Drake on the map. Who, who would I actually want to survive here? 
realistically, who would I want to win? I think, to be honest, it'd have to be either Morgs or Buzzfeed. I don't think I could root for Fortnite, Ninja or Logan Paul. Fuck it, Morgs or Buzzfeed. I'd have one of those. Probably Buzzfeed. I know that sounds shit, but given the choices, Buzzfeed is probably the best option to root for. Logan Paul begs for Fortnite Ninja to kill him. He refuses keeping Logan Paul alive. Ninja! Stop being such a pussy, for God's sake. Do you want the number one victory royale or not? Step up your game, you smurf. Buzzfeed receives a hatchet from an unknown sponsor. Morgs picks flowers, right? Logan Paul kills Fortnite Ninja with his own weapon. <laughs> for fuck's sake, the day before, Logan Paul literally begged Fortnite Ninja to kill him. You're such a fucking idiot, Ninja. You deserve that. You absolutely deserve that. That is the most stupid death in this entire Hunger Games. Right, so there's only three left now. Morgs, Buzzfeed, and Logan Paul. If Logan Paul wins, I'm gonna be pretty pissed, I'm not gonna lie. Buzzfeed lets Morgs into his shelter. Oh fuck. If those two team up to kill Logan Paul, that would be golden. Logan Paul thinks about winning. Shame you didn't win that boxing match though, eh Logan? Logan Paul attempts to start a fire but is unsuccessful. Morgs sets up a camp for the night. Buzzfeed receives an explosive from an unknown sponsor. Fuck me, nothing is going on now. Come on, just kill someone. Morgs begs for Logan Paul to kill him. He reluctantly obliges killing Morgs. Oh, Morgs, you've let me down once again. It is... <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying this, but... The final two survivors are Logan Paul and Buzzfeed. That's who it's between. It is either Buzzfeed or Logan fucking Paul. Logan Paul poisons Buzzfeed's drink. He drinks it and dies. Are you shitting me? Two cannon shots can be heard in the distance. Morgs and Buzzfeed. The winner is Logan Paul. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. It's really annoyed me. That's, that's really annoyed me. Why Logan Paul of all twats? I mean, at least it wasn't like J Station or Omnision. All right. But on the other hand, Logan fucking Paul. Really? What an epic conclusion to this Minecraft Hunger Games. Logan Paul can now make a massive vlog and film the bodies of all the other 23 contestants and get like 23 billion views and not receive any repercussions for it. It's gonna be epic, guys. So there we are, ladies and gentlemen. That is the conclusion to this YouTube Hunger Games. Uh, all in all, quite a disappointing conclusion, but at the same time, it's quite nice to see Omnision get brutally murdered. I do not have an outro scripted for this video, to be honest. I did not script any of this video, because um, I just don't care anymore. Uh, anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed whatever the fuck this video is. I'm working on a couple of commentaries. I've got a couple of big projects and I've got a couple of shorter commentaries in the work. Hopefully you'll see them soon. It just depends when I can be bothered to finish them. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next hecking video.